Hi, this is Magnar and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, we're going to do our first foray into start pause editing. Uh, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to change the starting armies and garrisons uh, for any campaign that you want to do it for. Uh, the process will be the same regardless of which campaign you're trying to edit. So last episode, I showed you how to create uh, and a new garrison group and assign that group to buildings to create a new garrison. And we used the slinger unit here, uh, one of the tutorial units we've made. In this episode, we're going to add that unit, or we will just replace uh, an existing garrison with that unit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the directory where the start pause file is. So if you go into campaigns, then you pick your um, campaign that you want to uh, edit the start pause of, say main Rome, and there it is. So we want to recreate this directory. So we'll go to here, click at the top on your file, uh, your pack name, add empty directory, go to campaigns, rename that empty directory to campaigns. And then we can just add directory and we can add that campaigns directory for we'll do the main room campaign for this tutorial you can uh, add multiple start pauses so in, in the same pack you can add for every single campaign that there are you could have change start pauses for all of them if, if you wanted to but we're only going to do one for this uh, episode campaigns and then just select Rome okay okay over here and there it is so I'll save that and then click on start pause.esf and it should pop up like this then you click on the plus to open it up expand it then go to compressed data campaign environment ENV uh, campaign model and then come down to world and then you're going to go to faction array and then there is a different array for every single faction in the game, all 140 of them. The way to find which faction belongs to which array is you just open it up and you click on the first folder that's in there. And you can see on the second line here is a faction code, rom underscore rome. That correlates to the factions table in data underscore rome2. As you can see here, if you go down to alphabetical order, and we can find Rome, Rome. That's the faction key for the Roman faction. Faction array number one is Carthage, and you can go all the way down, pick any one you want. Garamatia here is faction number array number ninety. Uh, to change the units we're only going to do it for Rome for this tutorial so if you open up the faction even further you get a whole bunch more folders in there and we're going to go to army array the army array is not just for the starting armies but there is actually an array for the garrison for each settlement so if your faction you're editing has one city and two armies then it'll have a total of three army arrays if it has more, it'll have more. Uh, navies also constitute an army array, and navy garrisons constitute a separate army array. So if you have a coastal uh, settlement, it will have two army arrays. One for the naval ships in that settlement that are garrisoning, and the uh, another one for the land units which are garrisoning that settlement. Uh, the way to choose, to figure out which one is which, is you open up the array, uh, pick an array, and then you go down to the unit container, and you can check out what units are in there to match. So this is a naval, because this code here with four at the end um, is a naval unit uh, code. So I, mean, I, I know that. That's, this, this is coming from main units. Um, so we know this array 
array, uh, army array 0 is for naval units, so we can try out army array 1, unit container. And this one here is not for a naval unit. This is for likely for a general. You're just having the tree area as a general unit. Um, and then other units here. You can check on the campaign map if you want which one it is. If we go a bit further down, usually the garrison units are right at the end, at the bottom of the, the array list. We got a unit container. Here we have Rome Vigilis. That's obviously a garrison a unit. So we're going to use our name of our unit here, which I really should have copied beforehand, but I didn't, so we'll go back and do that. And we're going to paste it to replace some of the units in the start pos garrison. So I've got to go all the way back. Select Rome, Army Array. So first I'll add one, I'll put these units into... Click here, you go into the unit array. You go, the unit here will tell you this is the number of men in the unit. This is movement points and some other stuff. And the unit record key is the key it looks up. Um, in our database tables. So just select that like this, so the L writing is there. Uh, right click and paste. I don't think Control V works, it doesn't. I just pushed it. You can't do Control V, you have to actually select, right click, paste. Uh, it's a bit longer way of doing it, but that's all we got. So now to save it, you just click out, you'll see that it's red, which shows you how to find what's been changed. And when we're ready, we'll save that. Now, what we can also do is we can add to this army, we'll add another one of those units. So I will duplicate it. Now we've got instead of three, zero, one, two, three, four, we've got zero, one, two, three, four, sorry, instead of zero, one, two, three, now we've got up to four. And again, well, because I've cloned the one I already changed the name for, uh, we've got an extra unit now in that army. Now we'll do the same for a garrison. I'll just pick a random garrison. Uh, this is going to be a naval garrison, I think. Yeah, that's a naval garrison, so that's no good. And this one. And then this is a land garrison. Okay, so this one we can, let's just change one of the levies to that. And we're almost done now. So once that's done, you can just click out and it'll take a little bit to save it all off. It's not actually frozen, it actually just takes uh, a little bit of time when you click out once you've changed it in the um, through PFM. So now you see here it is also red, which means that we can save it and those changes will be saved. I think you can just load that up. Um, because we've copied and pasted, uh, it won't have any issues loading. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now you can go and uh, change, add whatever you want to do to uh, the existing starting armies. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.